Hi, Noel. How are you? Good. How was your vacation? Good. Okay. Let's just start. Okay. Last problem with what? <clears throat> we will finish this one and we will revise it from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Start from 23. We'll finish this one and start from 23. What? Can I read? What? The numbers from 1 to 10 have to be placed in the small circle. One in each circle numbers in any two nine mm -hmm. circles must have the same sum as the number in the two dimensions. Demeritically options, circles, some of the numbers are already placed. What number should be placed in the circle with the question mark? Okay, read it again. The numbers from 1 to 10 have to be placed in the small circle. One in each circle number in any two nine boring circles must have the same sum as the numbers in the two demilitarical options circle. Some of the numbers are already based. What numbers shall be based in the circle with the question mark? What we will do here? I think mm -hmm. that that we're gonna the factors of five. How? So here in number when we have five, we have two plus three equal five. Wait a second. Wait. Um. Um, here two and three and five. Hi, um, what's up, baby? Mm. I think the number is gonna be okay, nine, we have nine and six and eight. Nine, six, eight, or the six in the no, eight. Nine. Plus one plus we have put one here and nine here, then here in the middle we have put ten. Just Rima 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 Nora? Yes. What do you think, Nora? Miss, I just joined. I didn't read the answer. Read the, the question again. We didn't say the answer. We only the read the answers. The numbers from 1 to 10 have to be placed in the small circles. 
one oh. in each circle numbers in any two neighboring circles must have the same sum as the numbers in two diametrically op diametrically? opposite circles yeah. placed in the circle with a question mark. What do you the numbers from one to ten? Teacher, from one to ten have to be placed in the same circles, one in each circle. Teacher, do you hear me? I'm now. I mean, you can hear, you. hear me. I can hear you. Yeah, I can. I can hear you. Numbers in any two neighboring circles must have the same sum as the numbers in the two diametrically opposite circles. So, Teacher, I think it is eight. Numbers in any two neighboring circles, two neighboring circles must have the same sum as the numbers in two diametrically opposite circles. The opposite circles should have the same sum. What number should be placed in the circle with the question mark? What do you think? Teacher, I think it's eight or six. Why you think it's eight or six? Tell me why eight. Um, because uh, here, mm -hmm. the question mark, here after seven, there's a plus. They not write the number. So the number here, it will be uh, nine. And nine will put uh, Nine will add more, so it will be eleven. Uh, I mean, uh, and the question mark, I think, to be six or eight. Because here they write, and the sub of the numbers are rated place what number should be placed or circle the question mark and here they write the number from one to ten have to be placed the small circles one in each circle number in any neighboring on circles must have the same sum as the numbers in the, the two demons of vision circles. So that's why I think it's a six or eight. Which one you would choose, six or eight? Here? I Here. think it is um, eight. Mm. Okay, you said eight. Noura, we want to think together. Each each arrow like this, sign to small number. Sign to the from small number to the big number. So here five. This arrow should uh, sign to seven. So the number after seven should be greater than. Seven. The number here should be greater than seven. From the small number to the big number. Hmm. Here, if I add seven plus five equals what? Anyone? Seven plus five equals? Equals 12. 
12, okay. 13. 7 plus 5. 12, yeah, you said 12. So, Okay, Rima. Rima? Yes. Again, yes, Yarima. teacher. You answer? Say your answer again, Yarima. I say it is six. Yeah, say why again? Because the writing, the number from one to ten have to be placed in the small circle one and each circle number any two number circle must have the same sum as, as the numbers in the opposite circles some of the numbers are related places what number should be placed in the circle with the question mark. So I think it is six. Why? Yeah, I know you think it's six, but why it's six? Because teacher, if we put here six, mm -hmm. where six? Yeah, beside the five, beside the five down, mm -hmm. we put six. There's another one, another plank, it will be seven. And up it, it will be five. And the question mark, so it will be six. Did you see beside the five? down here yes down yeah five then we write six after six seven and the seven will add here two uh will add here six uh means five we'll start again we write here five then up we're in the question mark write six Your answer is right, but the way you think. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Rima. Uh, yes. Yes, Yanura. The the rectangle in the middle top, mm -hmm. uh, it should be, uh, the, um, it should be like, uh, uh, the greater number, but and because the two arrows are pointing at it. Okay. So it which which biggest number we have here? Uh, I can't see the screen. I'm sorry, I will show it again. You can see it now. So the number in the middle top, I think it's 10. 
here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So here, this one should be from one to nine, not from one to ten. Okay, so the biggest number would be what? Here, nine. So the biggest number should be nine. What? So the biggest number is nine. Yeah. And mm -hmm. I think the one on the left top is eight. Here is eight. Here is eight. Okay, it could yes. be. Okay. And okay. The, and the question mark is is D number six. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We use eight, nine, seven, and five. Okay. Which which uh, square or rectangle will be the smallest number? Will be one. The, the smallest number mm -hmm. sh should be at the right side in the middle. Yeah, here the smallest one would be one because not no arrows uh, point to it. All of the yeah. arrows go uh, up and down and beside so this is the smallest number here is one okay we so we used one, one now mm -hmm. and i think two at the bottom two here okay um and i think Mm -hmm. Three is, I think four is between, is between one and seven. Okay. And, and three is between two and five. And? Um, uh, I mean, the four is uh, between two and five, sorry. So, the rectangle with question mark will be which number? Will be, and the number that we haven't used yet is six. So, six is the question mark. Six is the answer. Okay. Rima, thank you, Rima, and thank you, Nora. Last one, number 24. Read. Last one, number 24. Hey, can me, Nina. Miss, can I read? Noel. Hey, you read and solve. So let's see, Noel. Noel at the heel. Noel, where are you? Okay, Rima. Okay, did Mohammed placed three different types of objects. He a god square and triangle on such the right as shown what hmm. does he need to put on the left hand side on the third set of circles for the third case and so 
the three and different third types place of objects. Okay. They say here for us the third set of scales for less scales of mm -hmm. uh, okay. Uh, not half a pattern this verse since the pattern. Okay, it is the uh, I think this is the two triangle. Let's see again. Muhammad placed three different types of objects, hexagons, squares, and the triangles. One set of skulls as shown, what does he need to put on the left hand side on the third skull? We talk about this one for these skulls to be balanced. Which shape, if we put it here, this skull will be balanced? Like this. I'm one. sorry, teacher. And I'm Teacher, I'm uh, sorry, teacher. I just want to try and, but I, I forgot. It's okay. Mm. What do you think? Which shape we should put it in the third discourse to, to make it uh, balanced? Mm. Which one? I just want one put triangle. Square, two squares, one hexagon, one triangle, or two triangles. This I mean, Masaya, it is one, one triangle. One triangle? Why one triangle? Because here it is, you have three hexagons, and the three hexagons, they have here, and the third one has three hexagons, and there is here. Two triangles. So if we will add the last triangle, will be balanced. If I put here two triangles, it will be balanced. No, teacher, one one. One triangle here. Put here one triangle. Look at this one. One triangle and a small square equals two hexagons. So if if I put this one. If I Two put triangles. It will not be the same. Okay. Two, Two, triangles. Two more triangles. Two more triangles means four hexagons. Mm. One hexagon. One this one had hex. So this is not right. This is not right. One hexagon. Yes. Okay, give me this. This I think one hexagon or one or two uh, squares. And four squares and forty mil, one million and two. What? I say maybe it is one hexagon or, or two squares. Mm -hmm. Sure. Look in the second and the second and uh, the second and uh, the second place. There is um, the hexagon and the uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five small squares, and we have here uh, a hexagon, and just the five, the five. Maybe it will be uh, one hexagon or two. So I'll add two or one. But here the triangle and the hexagon, it is closing a little bit because the uh, the hexagon and the little cubes it is uh, heavier look it is not balancing little bit the in the in the um, the left right or the right it have here the second picture have the hexagon 
have it here at a cube. But look, it is not polished. It's a little bit polished thing. So I think it is one hexagon or two squares. One hexagon or two squares. Who has another opinion? Who has another way to think? Uh, who has any other way to solve? Noel, where are you? The first spell and the second one, they are balanced. The only one not balanced is the last one. So what we will do? What should I put here to make it balanced? One hexagon? One hexagon. Why one hexagon? Because this is the hexagon it is a heavier. So if we put the triangle as a hexagon, I think it will be balanced. No, no, no. This is not the way. Uh, it's easy to square. The way. What? I'm really My answer is one mm -hmm. hex hex hexagon or two squares. Okay. But you should, in the exam, you say one answer only. So one or eight or nine hexagons. Look at the second balance here. Here I have hexagon with hexagon. They are, they are the same, so I would take this one with this one. It will be also balanced. So one triangle equals how many squares? One triangle equals how many squares? Five, five, five two squares. Teacher, I think the answer is B. It is two, two squares. Mm. So, one triangle equals one, two, three, four, five squares. Okay, five squares. So if I put here five squares, wait, I do it one. If I put what? here five squares, so two hexagons equals how many squares? Later we play the clear the eyes and touch. Mm, one, two, three, four. No. And this we one. We will play, Miss. We will play. We have how many? Maybe now uh, twenty minutes. Every I need to have this is uh, for the kangaroo because I have exam. Okay. How many squares? I have. Angle and put it. Five squares and this one. Okay. Here I have two hexagons equals six squares. Two hexagons equals six squares. So one hexagon equals how many squares? Two hexagons equals this triangle equals five squares. So I will take the triangle and put instead of it five squares. One, two, three, four, five. And I have this one from the beginning. So the total number of the squares here are is six. Two hexagons equals six squares. So one hexagon equals how many squares? 
Who tell me? Me. It's three squares. Three squares. Three squares. Let's see this one. If I wanted to take this hexagons and put instead of it squares, how many squares I'll put instead of three hexagons? One hexagon equals three squares. So three hexagons equals how many squares? Uh, three hexagons equals nine squares. So here, nine squares, excellent. If I want to take these triangles and put them instead of it squares, I will put how many squares? One triangle equals five squares. So two triangles equals? 10 squares. 10 squares. So what do you think we need to add what? I think we need to add to the left hand one, one, one. square. So we will add only one square here. So it will be 10 squares here and 10 squares there. The call will balance. I think you're saying wait. Okay, you understand? Yeah. You understand how we solved this one? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Let's start this one from the beginning. We will have quick revision on it. And tomorrow we will have quick revision on. This one, quick revision. Number one, who knows number one? Mm. I do. Okay, do number one. I do this. Okay. Oh, it's a C. Yep. One. Because it's three cubes and hmm? it's three gray cubes and one white cube. Because here there's three cubes, as I can see, and one white cube. So uh, it's figure C. So that has four bricks as shown above. Which of the cubes shown below can he make with his four bricks? It's C, okay. Because here we have three gray and one white. Number two. Tell me number two. Number two. Oh, can I have? Can I do it? Yeah, do it, of course. Um. Okay. They say how many fish will have their head pointing to the ring when we start in the line. So I think. Oh uh, wait, let's see. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight. Did you wait 10 minutes? Okay. Let's me count. What? Teacher, I say you wait 10 minutes because I want to count. Ah, okay. Count. Miss, the answer is six. 
The answer is six. I will go from here, from the rings way, and I will see how many fish uh, look at the ring. This is one, two, three, four, five, and six. That's right, six. Number three, who reads? Me, can I read? Yeah. This? I need to have an answer. Miss, can I read this one, please? Fitz, I didn't answer. Um, me, Elena, I didn't answer. Okay, next one. Okay, yeah, Elena. All right. So, so, one, so one is first. Okay, one is first, then we put in three. Yeah. And then we put a plus, and that makes two. When you put the four puzzle pieces together correctly, they form a rectangle with a calculation on it. What is the result of this calculation? It is 15. Okay. How you did it, 15? So, because I added one first, mm -hmm. then I added three. So, that makes 13. Then I added a plus, and then two at the end. So, 13 plus two is 15. Uh, one, yeah, because one here is closed. So, this is the first one. One here. Then, yeah. beside one, I will have what? Three, yeah. Okay, so 13. And beside three, we have this, so we can put plus. And beside plus, we have this one, we can put two. 13 plus two equals 15. Thank you so much. Elena, number four. Uh, me? Hmm? I'll be did you see the 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 teacher? She do the question three. Okay. All right. I think this is going to be easy. Okay. Teacher, teacher, Elena, answer question three. Okay, Arima, answer number four. Okay. Okay. Is this not a? What? Or B, I said it is not a A. Mm -hmm. It's P. Ali draw a picture of the sun. Which of the following answers is for? This it is B. It's B. I will lo go and look at this the sun and see which part be the same like a uh, part with the sun. I can see here. Dark gray, light gray, and white. So I can see here the same one where you can see it here. This one, this part, this part, and this part. So it's B. Number five, Nora. Yes, Miss. Yeah, and you read number five. Five. Five friends completed in a shoot in completed a shoot. in a shooting challenge. Fahad scored the most points. Which target was Fahad's? Hmm. The most point. So which one is Fahad target? First, let's count A. Ten plus eight plus seven. Ten plus nine is nineteen. And nineteen plus eight is nineteen. 20, 21, 22, 
27 plus 7 is... Thirty-four. Yeah. And that's for A. And for B, for B, ten plus seven plus seven. Ten plus seven is seventeen. And is seventeen plus seven is... 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 24. 24 is for B and for C. Mm -hmm. uh, 8 plus 8 plus 8. 8 and 8 is 16. And 16 plus 8 is... 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15 plus 7, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22 for D and for E, uh, 9, uh, 9 plus 9 plus 8, 9 and 9 is 18 and 18 plus 8 is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 26. Twenty six is for E. Okay. I think it's A. Why? Why? Uh, Teacher, I mean, me, Rima. Teacher, I mean, me, me, Rima. I, I think mean, it e. is. Teacher, I Rima. I think it is. Um, it is E or yes, E. Yeah, it's E. Without adding, here we have 10 without adding, 10 and 9 and 7. Here we have 10, 7 and 7. Here we have 8, 8, everything is 8, okay. Here we have 8, 7 and 7. Here we have 10, we have 9, we have 8. Which one has the biggest number? Without adding, look at the numbers. We have 10, we have 9, we have 8. So E is the biggest one. Number 6. Who wants to read number 6? Teacher, it is, it is, um, I think it is the four, minute. It is the 42 or 42 or 33. Because we do it with our teacher, so I number it is uh, A or B. We do it together here also. So six will be what and what again? What is the answer? I mean, again? teacher, I mean, I'm little bit I think it is A or B. No, not A or B. No. We oh, did it. Or... It's C, 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 C. Yeah, look at 
from here, from six to 27, how many? From six to 27, 11. So from 27, if I want to add 11, 27 plus 11 equals? No, it's 21. So here also, if I want to add 21 from 6 to 27, 21, from 27 to what? From 27, add 21, you will reach what? It's 1 plus 7, 8, 2 plus 2, 4, so it's a 48. Number 7, who read number 7? Who do who wants to re read number seven? Hi, where are you? Teacher, the answer is thirteen. For seven? Yes. Why? Yeah, why? Because I remember I go to the teacher and you so I said I think it is thirteen. Yeah, because only because the teacher Look, said teacher, can I read you this for you? How, how to get 13. Yeah, okay. how? Ahmed, friend. Mm -hmm. Hi, Ahmed. Ahmed, a civil. Ahmed, and friend. A civil. And a god rocket at the same time. The rocket expands into 20 stars in total. The gold rocket is big into six stars than the civilized one. How many stars are? Uh, I think it is eight. Why eight? Uh, because we if we eight divide eight. the 20, we don't have eight in the choices. Teacher 15. I mean 50, 50. 50? Yes, E. Because if we... If we, if we divide the 20, the 20, how many will divide it? It will be divided in 15. Why? So 15 want... plus 15, Mm -hmm. It goes 20. No, no, sorry, teacher. B, because B, if we divide the 20, it divides to uh, 10. And the 6, if we divide it, it will be 13. So 13 plus 13 equals 26. Where 26 here in the choices? We don't have here any 26. Teacher, the answer is 30. This one, not 30. This called 13. Okay, this called 13. Number eight. Who read number eight? Me, teacher. What's your name? It's me, Nora. Okay, Nora, read from your book. Daniel has some balls of three different colors. Balls of the same color have the same weight. What is the weight of each white ball? So they want us to get the number of weight for the white ball. So which one? The answer for eight? The answer for number eight mm -hmm. is four. 
It's what? Five. Yeah, it's five. Number nine, who read number nine? Last one. Miss, can I read again? Read again. Layla has three different types of cards in a game. Apple, cherry, and grapes. She chooses two cards from the set and swaps their places. She wants to arrange the cards so that all the cards with a possible with the same fruit on are next to each other. For which set is this not possible? It is it is a miss. Okay, number ten. Can I do it again? No, let's see another one. Irina? Yes, teacher? Read number 10. Right. Sarah wants to pick five different shapes from the boxes. She can only pick one shape from each box. Which shape she must pick from box four? So in box one, okay, She'll pick a star, of course. And the next box. All right. The next box she will pick a. Uh, okay. So in four, what will she pick? So in box three, she picked up an oval. In box four, what will she pick? First thing we have to find what she will pick in box two. Circle and star are taken. All right, circle and star are taken. So in box two, box five, let's check it. We can pick eight. You know those hash shape blocks? So three blocks are out. I guess in box four, she will pick a diamond, and in box two, she'll pick a triangle. So in box four, she'll just pick a diamond. Okay, so which one you say, the, say again? It's a diamond. Oh, Mama. Yeah, later, please. Last one here, 11. Right, eight pink cubes are colored white and gray or black and are arranged as shown on the left. Mm -hmm. The on the right show the white and the black parts. Which of the song is the gray part? Mama, uh, left the gray part A, B, C, D, or E. So it might be A. Teacher, mm. I think the time finished. Yep, it's seven. Okay, you can do this one. A or B, C, D or E? Miss, it's A. I was right the whole time. 11 here. We did it before. It's last one, E. Okay. Tomorrow, inshallah, we have another one. See you tomorrow. At six. All right, bye. Okay, bye. Thank you, Miss. Bye. You're welcome, dear. Bye, bye.